for hallelujah. We want to feel your presence. Yes, God. We want to feel your power in this place on this youth Sunday. We want to feel your anointing. Hallelujah. Fall in this place as if it was the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Light a fire in our bellies. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for the ability to worship. Hallelujah to God. We thank you for the ability to lift our hands to you. Thank you, Jesus. And say thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you for that ability. Hallelujah. We will not take it for granted. Hallelujah. Because we know that it's you who have made us. Hallelujah. We're not here by accident. We're not here by happenstance. But we're here because of your grace. We're here because of your power. We're here because of your love. We're here because you kept us. We're here because you helped us. We're here because you rocked us. Yama, 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 yes, up. We're here because you're holding us. Hallelujah. In the midnight hour. Hallelujah. When our pillows were soaking wet with tears. Hallelujah. You are a napkin. Hallelujah to God. You are a Kleenex. You are a way maker. You are a provider. You are a heart fixer. You are a mind regulator. You have been our all in all. And for that, every person ought to give him glory for being your all in all. Come on, lift your voice and give him glory for being your all in all. Come on. Lift your voice and give him glory for being your all in all. Hallelujah. If you know God, you know all in all. Release a sound to heaven right now. Hallelujah. If you know he know all in all, hallelujah to God. We love you, God. Hallelujah. We love you, God. Hallelujah. We love you, God. Hallelujah. We can't live without you. Hallelujah. We can't move without you. Hallelujah. We can't breathe without you. Hallelujah. We have no activity of our limbs without you. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just come giving. And into your courts with praise. We come listening, you God. We come adoring you, God. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fill this place, God. Hallelujah. Fill this room, God, with your supernatural power. So that lives can be praised. So that lives can be changed. So that lives can be changed. So that life can be changed. Hallelujah. Change our minds, God. Hallelujah. Change our way of thinking. Hallelujah. Change the way we view things. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your power. We thank you for our deep service. Hallelujah to God. We thank you for the word that you place in his mouth. I pray that when he says, Hallelujah, at this sacred death, hallelujah, that you will anoint his hands. I pray that when he says, at this sacred death, that you will anoint his feet. I pray that when he says, na, 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 na. yes sir, I pray that when he says, that you will anoint his belly, hallelujah, send the word for your people, God, yes sir, send the word for your people, God. Use your vessel on the day. Hallelujah. I say use your vessel on the day. Hallelujah. He's a willing vessel. Hallelujah. Use them on the day. Hallelujah. We come to lift them up before you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Yes. We come lifting him up before you. Hallelujah. We come lifting him up before you. And we give you glory for it. We give you glory for it. Hallelujah. We thank you for what's about to happen in this place. Whoa. We thank you for what's about to happen. 
where y'all at? Clap your hands. Has it been good to anybody in the room? Come on, tell them you are good. 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 You are good.
In the name of Jesus, oh God, we trust you with our friends, we trust you with our marriages, trust you with our relationships, trust you with our businesses, with our companies, oh God, we trust you with our ministries. 
And God, we ask that you trust us with your anointing. Let it not be put to shame or put to waste. We ask that you keep us in perfect peace as we keep our minds stayed on you. And God, as you take us to this next level of praise and worship, we ask that you guide us, teach us, love on us, and preach us. Deliver us, God. And for those that are not, save us. For those that are broken, heal us. And for those that are all over the place, put us back together. In Jesus' name. People of God shout amen. amen. And they may clap those hands for the Lord in this place. I want you to um, inquire with me with a $50 seat real quick. I'm ready to preach. I came to have a good time, not a long time. Our servant leaders are coming now. Those of you that are online, those of you that are in the room, if you have not subscribed to the Earl D. Thomas channel on YouTube, I want you to go do that. Our Facebook page, we are constructing, reconstructing it and getting some things together with it, and we don't want to serve you uh, on a mediocre level. We want to make sure that you get the best experience possible through God and this uh, amazing ministry. Amen. Amen. Those of you you're giving electronically, those of you you're giving in the room on today, we want to make sure that you're able to um, uh, suffice our ways uh, to give. I see some, see some people uh, squinting a little bit. <laughs> see some people squinting a little bit. Hallelujah. Y'all doing all right? It's so good to see y'all smiling faces in the place. Yeah. So many doors you open, so many ways you made, so many times you healed. That it was good for you, that it was good. Thank you so, so many doors you open, so many ways you made, yeah, so many times you healed. That it was good for you. So, so many doors. Have you opened doors? So many ways you made. So many times you healed. That it was good to me. Stay there. It's been better than good to me. It's been better than good to me. Yeah. Better than good to me. Better than good to me. So many doors, so many doors you open. So many ways, so, so many doors you open. So many doors you open. So Look, some of y'all standing at a door right now. God, guess what? So many doors you. He's just waiting on you to walk through. That's it. There are no knobs to turn on this one. He said this is an automatic door. Hallelujah. You gotta get close enough to it <laughs> so that it'll open up for you. I'm already preaching. Come on. Come on. We're sewing on today. We're sewing on today. You said Pastor Earl, Pastor, because Pastor hate to go down that line. Hallelujah. We're sewing on today. Oh, come on. We're sewing on today. Those of you that said, I got, I got that. I'm standing with you, Pastor. You're not standing by yourself. I'm sewing. Hallelujah. I'm sewing. I'm sewing. I would never ask you to give to something that I'm not giving to. Guess what? This is my church too. Hallelujah. And we all belong. Uh, to God, when y'all get a chance, y'all mind cutting one of these fans out, choking it a bit. <laughs> come on, come on. You're sewing. If you're online and you're sewing, I want to give you just a moment to sew. I want to give you a moment to sew. I want all of you that can and will. I want all of you that will be so obedient. Go to YouTube right now and subscribe to the Earl D. Thomas page. The Earl D. Thomas page. That's where we're live streaming from. And we don't want our family and friends to miss this experience uh, just because. Um, some things happen with Facebook. Hallelujah. We'll be back on in a minute. Don't get it on. No, no, don't get it. We're not weird. We're not weird. It's, it's nothing. Nothing to folk that done been through stuff. Huh, Mama Bill? Found out that you just can't let the small things distract you nor deter you from what it is that you, uh, that you uh, are supposed to be doing. That's good.
Yeah, I'm good. Thank you so much. That praise team sound real good. They woke up. They woke up this morning. They must. They must have spiritually choked themselves. I said their throats are right this morning. My God. All right. Little brother Taj, he holl he hollered us on to the next. I ain't got to holler so much, but I miss y'all though. I, I missed y'all last week. My little son, he just preached. He just preached. A young man said, "Don't leave too soon." I was watching. He said, don't leave. Too. I was just about to walk out the door to go to the church. Uh, and they wasn't downstairs yet. And, and, and son said, don't leave too soon. I said, back down. <laughs> I said, back down. Father, we thank you for this seed in Jesus' name. God, allow it to reach where it needs to reach. Go where it needs to go. Build what it needs to build. Touch who it needs to touch. Impact what it needs to impact. We thank you for it. Let it go out and return to us one million fold. And it's in Jesus' name we shout. Amen. And amen. Y'all clap your hands for the Lord in this place. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29. I must tell Jesus all of my troubles cannot believe Jeremiah 29 so we're going to play a little game when the preacher and pastor says the scripture y'all stand so we want to elementary get up in here I'm about to start come grabbing hands and just start helping men, men and all I'm in that season he kindly will help me help him Lord Jesus can do it I'm going to tell y'all a story in a minute. I'm so sick of it. Jesus. Y'all say, oh, Jesus. Jesus alone. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Cannot bear these burdens alone. Whisper to yourself, say, nobody but Jesus. Some of y'all in a desperate place right now. Okay, they right there. They right there. You ain't got to talk loud. God said, I can hear you. I can hear your heart when your mouth ain't moving. Nobody but Jesus. He say he's a way maker, a burden bearer, a heavy load sharer. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Jesus. Alone. Clap those hands for the Lord in this place. Y'all got Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29. <laughs> Y'all got Jeremiah 29. 29. You got to say, I got it. Drop down verse 5, if you would. It's so happy to be at home. It's so happy to be back at home. I love what the Lord is doing, but there's no place like the mountaintop. Y'all should have been a little louder on that. I said, there's no place. No place like the mountain. My good friend, Pastor, I, uh, Pastor, touch him. Touch him. What's your last name, Pastor? You know, Wash, Washington. That's right. That's right. You know, I don't want to be first name basic. This is my good friend, Pastor Washington, um, who moved here not too long ago. A great guy, great guy, and Pastor, I am so excited that you came to worship with us. Uh, praying for that, that you, uh, oh my, the Lord said it's already yours. You got to do this. It's funny that you showed up. You got to do this right here um, that I'm about to talk about. Y'all drop down to verse 5. When you got to say, go and read, Pastor. Jeremiah 29, uh, verse 5 starts. It says, build houses and make yourselves at home. I'm reading from the Message Bible. Put in gardens and eat what grows in that country. Marry and have children, verse 6 says. Encourage your children to marry and have children so that you'll thrive in that country and not waste away. I love this part. Message Bible, verse 7 says, make yourselves at home there and 
work the country's welfare. Pray for Babylon's well-being. If things go well for Babylon, things will go well for you. Uh, drop down to, uh, you know what, I'll keep reading. Verse 8 says, yes, believe it or not, this is the message from God of the angel armies, Israel's God. Don't let all these so-called preachers and know-it-alls who are all over the place there <laughs> take you in with their lies. I love it. They say, don't pay attention to the fantasies they keep coming up with to please you. Who is this for? They're a bunch of liars preaching lies. The message Bible says. Mm -hmm. and claiming I sent them. I never sent them, believe me. Not what the Lord said in here. God's decree. Watch this. This is God's word on the subject. Verse 10. It's going to read differently in your Bible. It's going to say, for I know the, the plan. Right here it says, as soon as Babylon's 70 years are up, not a day before, I'll show up and take care of you as I promised and bring you back home. Here go your shout. I know what I'm doing. Have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you not to abandon you, plans to give you the future for your hope. I feel like reading, let me get this out. It's not even in my text. Thank you, Sister Denise, you're doing an amazing job. I'm just going where God told me to go. He says in verse 12, y'all at verse 12? He says, when you call on me, when you come and pray to me, I'll listen. Father, we thank you for the word of God on today. Thank you for uh, the people of God today. Thank you for the hearts of the people. Now, girl, let God let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. My God, my strength, and my redeemer. People of God said amen. Before you sit down, I want to talk uh, just from the simple subject. But in the meantime, y'all sit down, let me preach to you. But in the meantime, in the meantime, uh, there are people that have been carried here from their homeland of Jerusalem to a place of captivity called Babylon. I, I, um, I didn't come to be deep on today. I came to get straight to a point. And, and if we can cut a few corners and uh, cross a few T's, dot a few I's, Nisi Poo. I came to tell y'all, stay put. That, 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 that don't, it don't mean be still. It just mean know where you're going. It don't mean be still. It mean watch where you're going. It don't mean don't do nothing. I mean, hold on to where God has you and hold on to why God has you there. In this text, uh, Prophet Jeremiah has written a letter, told the people, the children of Israel, what thus said the Lord. And it tripped me out because although Nebuchadnezzar was king here, everybody knew their specific places. I got a uh, bargain with you for just a moment and you got to check people that's not just in your circle but sometimes observe your role and where you are because there are some folk it's not that they can't go with you truth is in their heart they don't want to go where you're going 
you'll know they don't want to go where you're going. Watch this. Because of their replies, because of their responses, because of their reactions. You can watch how people handle adverse times because when seasons change, some people change. Um, have you ever seen the average 16 to 25 year old in the middle of the summer in July? They got shorts on, flip flops, but a hoodie. I've never seen. And they got, they got, they got scullet hats on. And, and 85 to 90 degree weather. I'm not talking about them, GP. Watch this. What I love about y'all is that although the seasons change, y'all's wardrobe don't change. Y'all about to miss what I'm about to say. I ain't going deep. I'm staying I'm a, it's right under the surface, but we, here it is. It doesn't matter what the climate is. It doesn't matter what the weatherman says. It, they, they don't go outside to check to see how it feels. You got, I like this twin, you got to be 40 and up now. Almost minded out, sister Tanisha. I almost felt it. Hit, hit. We go grab a coat when they say the low yeah. is 40 and the high is 65. Because to some folk, that means it's about to be cold. I was in, um, I was in Providence, Rhode Island on last week, and I, I almost forgot I was going to the East Coast, going by the water. And they said, Pastor, we're going to take you to the mall. I said, um, all right, cool. And, and I said, well, Lord, I don't need to go to the mall because I know if I go to the mall, I'm going to the mall. I'm, I'm going to walk in with something. I'm going to come out with a whole lot. But my discipline, watch this, my discipline allowed me to enjoy a destiny without making an unnecessary deposit. There are some places that you got to walk in with what you have and leave with the same thing. I'm walking in there, watch, don't miss it. I'm walking in there and, and I had a t-shirt on because it felt really, really good outside. Sister Alvarella and I stayed in there for probably about an hour or so. And they said, well, Pastor, we wanna feed you and we wanna get you to the airport. I was getting ready to leave at this time. Uh, when I came out, I realized the temperature had dropped. And I stepped out the door. <laughs> and I like to drop with the temperature. <laughs> I said, Lord, have mercy. Where you done brought me to? He said, I need you to know there are some places that you're getting ready to go. that You're going to have to be prepared for the weather to change. There are some places that you're going to have to travel to. Y'all catch this in the Holy Ghost. I'm almost done. I got one holler and I'm about ready to do it. Um, places that you're going to have to experience. That there are going to be changes of climate. But God said, tell you there will not be a diminish in covenant. Why? Why? Because where you go, God said, I've already been there. Where, where, where you are, God says, I'm already there where where you left god said you had to leave that place because i left it before you and the reason that you couldn't keep doing what you were doing in that place in that season god said because i did not dwell there anymore some of you it don't smell good it don't look good it don't sound good it don't feel good you got to stay right where you are until god gives you the okay to move you don't believe me? He says, Jeremiah uh, was talking here, and uh, this is a plan for your future. Can I stop and tell somebody, don't frustrate your future acting up in your present. I'm trying, man. Simply because, I miss that, man. Uh, simply because when you 
try to embark upon a future that God is working on, but you hadn't worked toward. Talk to me, people of God. That's when the future begins to become frustrated because we start operating in a season that we haven't even seen. I want to talk to some folk uh, right up and through here that says, Pastor Earl, hold on. Right where you're uh, talking is where I'm walking. And, and, and right, where, where, right where you are uh, dispensing is where I'm, I'm living. And here is the reason that some of us have to obey God in this season. is because our feet will get us somewhere in trouble that our future has not invited us to. I want to talk to some folk that says, Pastor Earl, hold on. My future is so, so important to me, but I need to know how I need to handle my now because my now doesn't feel good. My now doesn't look good. I feel like uh, I am a slave, but I need to know the solution. I, I feel like I'm bound. I feel like I'm in chains, and I need to know how to get free. I feel like I'm locked up. They threw away the key, and I feel like Akon. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. I came to tell somebody on today that no matter what your circumstance is, no matter what your situation, am I talking to somebody at the mountaintop? No matter what your situation is, no matter how the obstacles seem to be stacked against you, no matter how uh, the oppressor, oppressor and the oppression seems to be built up against you, brothers and sisters, beloved people of God, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I came to tell you today at the mountaintop around about 1155 that where God has you is where God wants you. Where God, where God has you is where God wants you. Where God has you is where God uh, believes in you. Where, where God has you is where God trusts you with his stuff. Where God has you is where God trusts you with his people. Where God has you is where God trusts you with the proper decisions to make. And can I tell you that sometimes it ain't our feet, it ain't our mouth that get us in trouble. It's the decisions that we make that get us in trouble because we decided to go before God and God says... I gave you 70 years right here. Pastor Earl, I ain't got 70 years. Some of y'all ain't even 70. I got it. They ain't, I ain't talking to you. But some of you been going through for seven years. And some of you got the testimony and said, Pastor Earl, I've been going through for seven months. And I'm just trying to figure out how do I handle what I'm going through. Because what I'm going through doesn't look like what I'm headed to. But somehow they got to come together. I need to tell you. Embarking upon a situation, <laughs> upon a situation, um, in, in 2020, I would have stopped and had a whole message about that. And the Lord said, we're going somewhere. We ain't got time for that. Change, Max, and keep going. Here it is. Can, can I pause and give y'all an email? Don't put this in your spam. Put this in the uh, marked unread because you're going to need to read it tomorrow because some of you are still living out the response of last season. And God said, I can't hear you with that. But you're going to have to get to a place to where even when the distractions come, even when you know folks supposed to be in place and they ain't in place and they ain't doing what they're supposed to do, God says your praise is going to elevate their decision. And so now what we have to do and when we know that we are in a place to make the proper decision, it comes with a proper praise. But I don't have 70 years. I don't have seven years. And the truth of the matter is, it's some people that I love and I'm connected to. I don't have seven months to deal with you. And you don't have seven months to deal with the old you. I want to tell somebody, it's time to push forward and bring out. I got a question and you can say it loud. Who is ready to come to where God has them to be? Here, here, here. This is the letter uh, that Prophet Jeremiah sent from uh, Jerusalem to uh, what was left of the elders among the exiles. He said, what was left of the elders. That means some folk had done died off. Uh, that means some folk had done gone on to be with the Lord uh, among the exiles to the priests. Hear this, and the prophets and all of the exiles from Nebuchadnezzar had uh, taken to Babylon from Jerusalem, inc including, hear this, King um, Jehoshaphat, uh -huh, uh, the queen mother, the government leaders, and all the skilled laborers and craftsmen. Pause. I need to tell you that um, God says, I'm pulling everybody. I, I don't care what your title is. I don't care um, what you hold. I don't care what your place is. I don't care who you are. I, 
tell somebody you got to come. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and then tell them if you can't come, tell the next person you got to go. My God. Here it is. Here, here it is. Here it is. He says, um, the letter was carried by Elisa, son of Shaphan, and, and, and Jamarius, son of Hilkiah, um, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, had sent to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. The letter said this. The letter said this. Uh, this is the message from God of the angel armies, people of God, Israel's God, to all the exiles I've taken from Jerusalem to Babylon. I need you to know Nebuchadnezzar didn't come get them. God carried them from the place that they were to the next place. Isn't it funny and ironic that folk will feel like that they took you somewhere uh, even though they drive in a car but they only survived and got there because you filled the tank up. My God. Uh, isn't it funny that God says tell you that you wasn't just caught up in a place you were carried to a place. Do I got anybody that's going to talk? Uh, here it is. You have not just been caught up in a place. You have been carried to a place. And the reason that we don't know who we are and the reason we have personal mistaken identity is because we keep giving people credit for holding on to us and not carrying us. I need to tell somebody that came and showed up to this room. If you're on YouTube on today, I promise you, uh, I came to tell you that this will be a season that what you can't hold on to won't go with you. What can't hold on to you can't go with you and what they've been holding on to can't go with you there is nothing here at this place that you have been for all this time that's going to keep you from getting to where God desires for you to be but if you feel like you are stuck in Babylon people of God I need to tell you stay put and in the meantime go ahead and build why 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 he said in verse 5 I'm in my text and I'm going on out of here he said build houses and make yourselves at home. That, 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 that means I'm in the enemy's camp. Yes, I am. I'm somewhere where I don't belong, uh, the Bible says. This is not the place that I would rather be, but God said this is the place that I would rather you be because there's something to learn here. Here it is. Here's what to learn here. You got to build houses here. How is it that I got to build a house and I ain't got no land? I need you to know when they took you into captivity, they took you and your stuff, and they got to learn that they got to share their stuff with God's people. I'll say it again. You got to know how fortunate you are because the Bible is telling us here that what we do in Babylon is going to count. He said, he said tell them build houses and make yourselves at home. Put in gardens and eat what grows in that country. I need you to know that you ain't going to be out in the cold and you ain't going to starve in this season. I need... Mm. I need you to know that you're going to have a roof over your head and you're going to have stuff to eat. And, and, and also, if God has given us the vision and the obedience and the leeway, the leniency to build and to plant, that means that out of this is going to be some growth. Can I teach it for about 60 more seconds and I'll move on to my, my next? He says, he says, marry and have children. Mm. Uh, encourage your children to marry and have children. God says right where you are, right where you are. This is for the people that are depressed because you don't feel like you have no movement. This is for the people that's stressed out because you feel like everybody else is getting what you ask God for. This is for the folk that says, I'm down on my luck. I need you to know you may be down on your luck, but you're not down to your last. And when you get to a place, people, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Uh, when you get to a place, people of God, to where you know who you are, you know who they are, and you know who God is, that's when you get to a place to where you understand that you have to heal even while you build. My God, I said you got to heal even while you build. There are some folk that says, man, I've been, I feel like I've been stuck right here all year long. Can I tell you, you're not stuck, you just got to stay. Well, I wish my son was here to preach it for me. You're not stuck, you just got to stay. There is a difference between being stuck and staying when you are stuck you don't know what's going on when you have to stay that means there are some specific instructions that's why in verse 5 he says build houses and make yourself at home that's why the second clause uh, verse chapter 5 verse 5 I'm sorry he says put in gardens and eat what grows in the country I need you to know just because uh, they are somebody and you are another people don't mean that you gonna plant apples and they gonna get oranges no 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 you got to know that you're getting ready to enjoy the things that your oppressor has even brought up on you 
you're about to get ready to enjoy the things that your enemy had to give you room to enjoy. Tell somebody you have to enjoy where God put you because although it seems like I'm in captivity, tell somebody I got to cultivate what I have while it feels as if I'm held captive. He said, he said, marry and have children. He's telling you to get you another line of lineage and legacy going, although you feel like you're in bondage. Then he tells them, encourage your children to marry and have children. He said, I'm not going to stop with one generation. I got to, I, you got to build generation after generation so that you won't diminish, that you won't uh, go to waste. Can, 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 can I ask some of you, why you, why you, why you ain't had no kids, huh? What, what, what you ashamed of? Why, why you ain't sold no seed into... Y'all got quiet on me, my God. Why, why you ain't sold no seed into God's green earth? Huh? Well, I ain't, I ain't built for no kids. Yes, you are. I ain't just talking about the ones that holler and take all your money. I'm talking about why haven't you sold seed into yourself so that people can know you in this earth. I ain't talking about no kids that'll take your car and run them down the street and they ain't even on your insurance. I'm talking about some babies that God didn't put in your belly, but he put in your hands and told you to carry. I'm talking about some, I ain't talking about no kids that ask you for, to get their hair done and they ain't even got nowhere to go. I ain't, asking, I ain't talking about kids that uh, make a barbershop appointment with you and they know that you're going to pay for it. I ain't talking about kids. I ain't talking about you, son. I ain't talking about kids that raid your closet just because y'all were... Just because y'all are the same side. I ain't talking about, come here ladies. I ain't talking about the kids. Now use your gel. Use your, uh, uh, your now what's that stuff that you spray? That keep holding spray. I'm talking about kids uh, that God has birthed in you. You've been having labor pains, but they ain't been crying. You've been having sickness, but they ain't been kicking. You've been having punishment and seems as if you can't sleep at night. But here's what the Lord told me to tell you. The Lord said if you can just hold on to what I've given you, you're about to deliver in about 70 years. Here's what God told me in my sanctified imagination. Uh, 70 years doesn't have to be 70 years for you. He, he, he got them there. He had them there. He ain't got us there. So, 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 so let, me, let me encourage you on what to do while you're here. Look across the room and say build. Mm -hmm. uh, look behind you and say plant. He said, he said put gardens in uh, and eat what grows in the country. Marry and have children. Encourage your children uh, to marry and have children so that you'll thrive in that country. And I waste away. Here, here verse 7, he says again, uh, he, <laughs> he, he says it in verse 5. I don't want y'all to miss this uh, message Bible. He says, build houses and make yourself at home. Drop down to verse 7. Look what he says. He says, make yourselves at home there and 